Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new part 2 of the YesD series. In this one, we talk about another YesD product which was released recently called the Roaster. Let's start the video and talk about this pack. Welcome back guys to the video. Let's start the review by talking about the design of the Roadster. The bike looks similar to the OG 1970s YesD motorcycles as it has big proportions for sheer road presence. The bike has a more dynamic appearance than the other YesD bike due to its muscular styling. Like all YesD motorcycles, the Roadster has signature circular LED headlamps with tail lights to give it that retro feel. Additionally, the bike has nicely made halogen units as turn indicators. Other characteristics that define the OG design cues include a wide handlebar, pea shooter style dual exhaust pipe and a great looking teardrop shape fuel tank. Overall, the bike gives you a yesteryear's big bike feel. This bike has massive presence, style and feel on the roads. This bike reminds us of the OG retro design. Just for the OG design, we rate it 4 out of 5. Now, with the design done, let's talk about the specs and performance of the bike. Now, manufactured for daily commute, this engine is tuned to make a maximum torque of 20 nm at 6500 rpm. It produces a maximum power of 29.29 bhp at 7300 rpm. Like the rest of the bikes from the S3 Triple series, the Roadster has a liquid cooled BS6 compliant engine with a power displacement of 334 cc. The single cylinder engine has four valves and one spark plug each. Linked to a six speed gearbox, the Roadster also has a wet multi disc clutch. Furthermore, this street bike also has a chain drive type transmission. Having the same braking hardware as the Scrambler, the Roadster has a single 320mm front disc and a single 240mm rear disc with a floating caliper. Telescopic forks and coil springs manage the front suspension, whereas dual set shock absorbers with a gas canister handle the rear suspension. With a double graded chassis, the curb weight of the Roadster remains at 184 kgs as the wheelbase measures up to 1440mm. The ground clearance of the bike are respectable. 175 mm. The fuel capacity of the bike is about 12.5 liters with an average mileage of 30 kilometers per liter. The roaster also has an accessible seat height of 790 mm and it has tubeless tires wrapped around its 18 inch front and 17 inch rear alloy wheels. The tires measure at 100 by 90 and 130 by 80 at the front and back respectively. Now that we've talked about the specs, let's check out the performance of the bike on the road. Now the appeal of this bike on the road is just majestic. The bike feels big, tall, handsome. It has a big bike feel is what most bikers will say. Now when we start the bike, it howls like a crazy demon. The bike gives you a retro feel due to its engine grunt. As we sit on the bike, our posture is fine. Although again, the seating on this one as well is not that great. As you sit further, the seating hurts your bum just a little. Bit. As we ride the bike, the torque in the lower gears feels incredible. It is completely opposite of the linear feel in the Scrambler. The bike lifts off like a crazy beast as the lower gear torque and pull is just incredible. Riding this beast feels like riding the original SD of the yester years as the ride is full of torque and engine noise. Now as we go up the gears, the bike relaxes a bit in terms of torque and noise but it still feels like a beast with no control. Out of three, this one gives you the best OG YesD riding experience. In terms of handling, this bike is okay in traffic management as it is heavier and bulkier than the Scrambler. Seems like this bike is designed for longer journeys where it can display its full power and potential. In terms of brake, they work well, tires give you decent stability, but in terms of comfort, it does not score for us as the seat feels awkward and the suspension is a bit too hard. You can feel the bumps which are not good for your bumps. Although Scrambler is more refined and stable, the Roadster is just pure fun. By the way, we will test it on highway soon and show you how crazy awesome this bike really is. For pure power, we give it 4.4 out of 5. Now that the specs and performance is done, let's talk about the features given in the bike. Now this motorcycle has a single pod LCD instrument console. It is fully digital instrument cluster which displays information like kilometer, gear position, time, etc. The bike also has a continental dual channel anti-lock braking system for safety purpose. However though, its ABS system lacks multi-level modes. Like the Scrambler, Roadster lacks a USB port and Bluetooth connectivity. Among the trio, 
ESD Roaster is the most affordable ESD bike. The ESD Roaster is available in 5 colors and it comes in 2 variants, the dark and the chrome. On the dark variant, the colors include smoke grey, hunter green and steel blue. On the other hand, the chrome variant has gallant clay and sin silver colors. For features, we give it 3 out of 5. Now, the SD Roaster offers good performance, terrific torque and a great road presence. The Roaster gives stiff competition to its driver. If you're looking for pure riding fun, you can go and test ride this one. If you want to know more info and the price of the bike, you can check out Swati Java in Delhi as they will guide you nicely and tell you about the features and specs of the bike. Their contact details and the current price of the bike is mentioned in the description. To this, we end our review. Hope you like the video. Like, share, subscribe. See you in the part 3 of the video. Till then, it's goodbye and good day from us.